Hello people, today we're going to be doing an update video on the Sony Xperia Play debug model. I'm just going to be telling you some of the uh, software modifications and uh, etc. that I've been able to install so far on debug model play. So let's see what we got. So, so far we've got the Sony Xperia Play debug model rooted and clockwork modded. As you can see I got the nice little clockwork mod menu here. Just to verify that it's my uh, debug model, I'll show you the back here. It's the AT&T Verizon model. There's the little HDMI port. Pretty sweet. Okay, so now we're just going to turn it on, show you the route, and explain some more things that I've been uh, going over trying to get this uh, modded, get uh, bootloader unlocked, etc. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got it rooted. There's Super User, Titanium Backup. I did an Android backup because I'm trying to get the bootloader unlocked and uh, just in case it's good to have uh, an Android backup. So far I've also done some little tweaks for smoothness as you can see there it's pretty smooth. I've done uh, Adreno, Adreno Booster and a few uh, build.prop tweaks which have dramatically increased the smoothness and the N22 benchmark. So far let's see what my highest score is. Let's see what we got here. Come on buddy open up. 6,004. The, f the highest one I ever had, I think, was 6,167. That's without overclock or anything because obviously I can't overclock without a unlocked bootloader. The bootloader on this play is so far I have not been able to unlock it because apparently I didn't know this before, but when I uh, downloaded S1 tool, it notified me that it was a brown phone. And for those of you who don't know, there are three types of Android phones. There are, of course, retail, uh, unbranded, straight from the factory. They're just, uh, they're not bootloader locked. Well, they're locked, but you can unlock it. And then there are debug phones, which is what I have here. Now, obviously you know the name of that, but the code for them is, they're called red, brown, and blue. Red is retail phones. Blue are unbranded or unlocked, well, unbranded phones. And brown phones are debug phones. Blue and red phones can be unlocked using retail methods, it's no problem at all. But when it comes to brown phones, you can't unlock them with the, uh, the retail methods because apparently they're signed with a debug key by the developer at Sony, which is kind of annoying. So right now I'm trying to hook up with Doom Lord and maybe somebody else at XDA to try to get this, get the keys for this. Also the guy who sold me this, I'm trying to get uh, who he bought it from, you know, tr uh, try to track down the developer who actually had this phone in the beginning so that I can get, see if he can give me the keys or a uh, way that I can get the keys to unlock it. Which would be really sweet because, I mean, playing on the TV, Overclocked 1.6 uh, gigahertz would be pretty awesome. Even at 1 gigahertz, the uh, Xperia Play is pretty a pretty solid phone. I mean, obviously with newer phones, you're not getting you're getting the way better CPU and stuff like that. But I mean, it is what it is. This thing has a gamepad, and I just can't let it go. <laughs> So this is for those who are curious, I mean, it's really cool to see the debug phone Xperia Play because, I mean, everybody always wanted HDMI on the Xperia Play. It was one of the big letdowns that the Xperia Arc included it, and uh, the Xperia Play did not. Oh, where I won, I lost. Now he's gonna get me now. It always uh, freezes at this point for some reason. I don't know if it does that on other phones, but I gotta try it on N64 OID and see how that goes. Anyways, we'll just take it out of that. And let's check out my build.prop, because I promised you guys a video of the build.prop. Uh, how it's different from the normal Xperia Play build.prop. And it's pretty cool, it's got a little uh, file manager is not responding. Wait, it's fine. I found this new file manager that they came out with since they updated to this graphical interface. It works on the Xperia Play, but a couple of my other phones, it's just, it, it force closes, it's, it's just garbage. I mean, you don't need that much graphical, 
No, it's too pretty. It's a freaking, <laughs> it's a file manager. Don't get too crazy over this. Jeez. So let's see what we got here. Stamp kernel, blah, blah, blah. eDream, R800X, test keys, that's all the same. Uh, incremental is Z, 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 I think that's different. Uh, user debug release keys. Uh, let's see what else we got in here that's different. Verizon, Network 4, Signal. I think there was something down here that was interesting. Brand US 7A. System Rob Proper Zeus. Dalvik VM. I've changed Dalvik VM and a couple other things to uh, to get a, a better speed. It's been debated whether Dalvik does anything, but I've changed it to 64. DRM. Adreno Booster. So I guess there's only a couple uh, different things. Here's the Adreno Booster. I've got hardware, 3D Force, Persist UI, Purgeable Assets, Debug, EGL, Debug profer, Profiler, Composition Type, GPU, blah, blah, blah. And blah. it's just got all these turned off. Uh, basically, it just downs the quality of the device so that you can get more speed out of it. Which, I mean, I've, I haven't really been able to tell the difference here. Let's launch uh, Asphalt 7. The only difference I've been able to tell is uh, because it forces 2D, Sometimes I get some force closes. Network errors, true. Retry. Okay, that's not going to open today. I guess I have to. I need the network on or something. Let's try a different game. Max Payne, I think that one's good to go. There we go. And I mean, playing Max Payne from your phone onto the TV <laughs> with a gamepad. It's pretty cool, I, I must say. Or, I've, like, I don't have GTA or anything yet, but that'd be pretty sweet, too. You can have it on the go or on the TV. Really, as far as I can tell, there's not really a whole lot of difference in quality. Let's see if we can just skip through that. <laughs> you guys can probably see I got a bit of tape here on my phone. It's the uh, the factory screen protectors on there, and I didn't feel like buying a new one yet, so I just put some tape around it to hold it on there. I'm gonna get a uh, full protector for it, a plastic one, not made out of, uh, it's not gonna be like a body protector, it's just gonna be like a screen protector on the whole body. They sell those, and they're pretty cool. Okay, you're loading. Here we go. Come on, Max Payne, let's go. Let's create some pain. Okay, I believe this was a bit screwy. Yeah, what the hell? Last time I played it anyway, it was a little bit. What the hell? The uh, the pads control where he looks, and the D-pad controls where he goes. So it's kind of screwy. It's very, it's kind of hard to operate, to be honest. I don't know why they choose that. Maybe it has something to do with not supporting the exterior play anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Just go upstairs. Oh no! Aren't they already dead and gone? That guy is crazy. Anyway. That's been a, a quick look at the Xperia Play and how I've modded it with Adreno Booster and a few build up prop tweaks. Got it all super usered and titanium backup and clockwork modded. Now I'm just going to get the bootloader unlocked. Well, that's it for me. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff. See you on the next video.